hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and actually build, build the crowd functionality for api so in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and actually build the model and then from the model we're going to go ahead and actually build the crowd functionality which is going to be the read the, the create the read the retrieve the update and the delete functionality for our api so uh, that's very 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 uh a bit to do so let's go get, get started so Make sure your root directory and your virtual environment is activated as usual and your the base test editor is opened up. So what you're going to simply going to do in here is going to go ahead and actually begin to build that. So we're going to first go into our models, uh, our models.py. In our models.py, we're going to we're going to build our model that's going to store, our model is basically a database that is going to store our various to do. So I'm just going to go to see here in our in our in our um, to do list we have a to do list application we have a, a, a file that called models.py so click on that and what is going to is going to open up models.py file so i'm going to, going to go ahead and actually close some of these files for now so i'm just close some of these for now so so close settings so uh, i'm instead of this file, what you're going to do is you're going to build a simple this to do uh just close uh, this one for now uh, instead of our models, let me just open models again. So here, so it is we're going to create our models, and our models are just basically databases. That's what they are. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's go started. Let me just delete this, and then we can get started. Mm, so let's get started. So what you're going to do, you're going to create a class. I'm going to create a class, and this class is going to be to do, and it's going to inherit from models dot uh, model class uh, model class and. Uh, okay so this model this model uh, model ob object is imported by default so you don't have to import it so from django.db import model and it's already imported for you by default so now we can use it uh, and by in can uh, this model uh, class is going to inherit from models dot models okay models dot model and make sure that the model the spelling of model is capital letter m okay so models dot model you're going to inherit that from there so we're going to specify what our database is going to be so we're going to say name name and it's going to be uh models is going to be models dot uh which is going to be this uh this object right here models dot uh we're going to say car field is going to be a character field and we're going to say the max the max underscore length the max length can be uh maybe 100 i don't know anything that you want to set and then nullable we can say is uh false we don't want our to do to be empty and then we can say uh description this uh this will be description and this is going to be uh sorry which i type equal and then it's going to be models dot uh description is going to be a text field so it's going to be a text field because we can we can store a large amount of text in there and then it's going to be max so let me just bring this back here so it's going to be uh max we're going to spy the max length of this uh, and it's going to the max length is going to be 40 or 400 i mean so you can just specify 400 characters if you want i don't know uh this is just anything uh you want to specify so it's going to be uh, nullable it's going to be false and you're going to pass in completed so completed is going to be whether user completed the to do or did not so it's going to be models dot uh, boolean boolean field and this is going to be uh, default Default is going to be false means if you didn't provide anything, then it will default to false means you didn't complete the task. So we're going to say uh, we're going to have uh, passing date uh, date underscore and the date is going to be you can pass in date and date is going to simply going to be um, date is going to be models going to be uh, let me just uh, okay should I get that right? So models dot uh, this is going to be date date uh, date this is going to be date. Uh, time field and then date time field like so we need to pass in a default for this so i'm going to import something from model so i'm going to say uh from uh sorry this is uh from from data date time from date time uh import date time so from date time we're going to import date time okay so the default is going to be date time default is going to be uh default is going to be um the default is going to be is going to be date time uh, so it's going to be uh, default is going to be date date time dot u utc now and then make sure that you don't call it you don't call it you just pass it in okay so that's very important that you don't call this function it's a function but you don't call it you just pass it in and it's going to return to the default date time and you're going to pass in dev uh, underscore underscore str and then you can pass in something like that and what you're going to return here is going to be uh, there's going to be self dot name that's what we're going to return there so we're going to return this self dot name and then that's all we're going to return so uh dev underscore underscore str we're going to take self and it's going to simply going to return self dot name and then that's all for the database so what now we need to do is we need to go to models dot um 
models dot uh, uh i mean sorry i need to go into a serializer file and we need to serialize this we need to have a serializer to serialize this data so just below this one i can have a function here i can have a function uh, i can have a class class call it uh to do serializer serializer and this to do serializer what is it going to do is going to take serializer serializers dot uh it's going to uh, it's going to have model models serializer so it's going to inherit from model serializer and what you're going to simply do in here we're going to pass in uh we're going to pass in a, a meta class we're going to pass in meta and the meta class is going to have the following settings so it's going to have models uh models and the model is going to be our to do model now we didn't import that from our model so we're going to import it from dot models you're going to be importing uh import uh it's going to be to do right you're going, you're going to import this to do uh, to do database from uh from our models file which is this file right here so from from dot uh, models you're going to import to do and then if you come here it's just going to specify to do and then uh what you're going to now specify is which field that there is going to be displayed to you it's going to say fields and then the fields are going to be uh it's going to be i'm going to use uh, i'm going to use this field i'm going to use all the fields so to use all the fields just say sim simply say underscore underscore all and then underscore underscore that's one way to do it another way to do it you can just specify these names you can uh, put them in a in a list or a tuple so you can just put, place a list or a tuple here and then you can say the first one is name and then the second one is uh description and then it will be completed and it will be date and then also the id okay so that's how you, you can specify it there but i'm just going to display all of it so there's no need to type it out uh, uh from scratch so i'm just going to uh put underscore underscore all and then underscore underscore so then the all so that's basically done that all and then uh, that's it basically so now that you have already set our model you can go ahead and begin to create our to do's and that's very simple so you can go to our views.py our views uh, our views model so our views are file rather so in here we're going to create our models and you're go, uh, i'm going to have the following model so i'm going to go ahead and i'm also going to uh uh, look, uh, let's just type it out and i'll explain to you okay so i'm going to have a class here and this class is going to do have a to do uh to do um to do's list uh create view so we're going to have a list create view and this is going to inherit from generics dot uh list create view so list create view is a type of uh term that we can inherit from generics and it's going to create for us that api mm -hmm. so we're going to pass in the same parameters that we pass uh, the same arguments that we pass in here so we're going to go ahead and say query uh query set and then the query set is just going to be uh uh to do so our to do is dot all dot uh objects uh objects dot all so just pass in that and then we need to import to do from our database so i need to say uh from dot models you're going to import uh to do's right so uh to do's here is this uh, this model right here we call it to do okay so let me make sure i call it to do so to do yeah that's basically it and then you make sure that you call this to do so the query set is going to be to do dot objects dot all and then you're going to pass in the serializer so the serializer is going to be the serializer underscore class the serializer class is just going to be uh it's just going to be a model serializer so we're going to be it's going to be uh we call it uh to do serializers okay to do serializer from there and then we need to import it here so you have the to do serializers there so you can see we have the to do serializer uh visual code uh visual studio code automatically imports that for us so that's it and then we also need to import we also need to specify the permission so permission permission classes and it's going to be a list right here so the permission classes is just going to be is authenticated because you to do to create something uh, to create a, to create or list something you have to be authenticated so that's basically it so just are going to uh, come in here and then uh, under the, under here we're going to say uh, uh, is authenticated or read only means that a user can can be authenticated or can only view the things the reason why we're using authenticated only i think is uh the user is uh, the permission is is authenticated or read only is that we have list and create view for it to be created you can must be authenticated if you are not authenticated then you can be able to list which is just going to view stuff or read stuff only that's why we have that class there so we're going to say uh is authenticated or read only and then it's a tuple so make sure that you have that uh, semicolon right there so that's uh that's it for the list create view now let's go ahead and actually create the last view and then we'll be begin to register those uh the, those urls and then we'll begin to view it in our front end so we're going to have class this is going to be to do's uh it's going to be uh retrieve retrieve and then uh update uh destroy so this is going to be retrieve update and destroy uh view 
destroy uh destroy does destroy have a u it doesn't have a it doesn't have an e so this retrieve destroy view i'm going to say generics uh generics dot uh this is going to be retrieve retrieve uh, destroy api view so that's that retrieve update and destroy api view so we're going to now create this what we need so then we specify the same stuff so let me query set query set is just going to be uh from our to do so it's going to be uh to do's dot uh, objects dot all so that's that and then we also specify the serializer so the serializer class is going to be the to do serializer right so it's going to be uh to do serializer so to do serializer that one it is specify it there and then you should specify the permission so the permission that people have to access this route so the permission is going to be uh the same permission is going to be uh is authenticated is, this is going to be is authenticated or read only so it's authenticated or read only and i explain to you the reason why we're using is authenticated and read only and this part is only to do so not to do so make sure that you remove that s so now that uh, we have a, a basic uh, route setup, so to do to you have you having uh, permission is is authenticated or read only because if the person is not authenticated, then they can be able to read. Maybe they can be able to review. They can be able to view, but they can't update and destroy, right? So they can delete or update some, some data that they, in case they're not authenticated yeah that's basically it uh for the user and then we one thing also need to do we want to also need to set if the user um if the user is the one who owns that applic that thing before the user can update it and that we're going to see it in the next tutorial to, to make sure the user is uh the user has already set up something that they can add only them can update rather okay so let me save this for now and then uh this is to do and then i'll just go back to my front end and now uh, the part where the user uh the user can update data that he only created will do that in the next tutorial so don't worry about that so what you're going to do right now is just going to go into uh our urls here uh, our urls folder our urls file rather so what you're going to do in here we're going to import all of that from our back end so we're going to import that from back end and then from there we can be able to uh, update the stuff here so now let's go ahead and actually import those. So it's going to be to do uh, to do retrieve uh, retrieve update view, and we're also going to import to do uh, to do create uh, create list create view. So what you're going to pass in, you're going to pass in those routes here. So we're going to say path, and then you're going to pass in the first the form the first one will be uh, just a forward slash, and uh, this is going to go to uh, it's going to go to so this is a capital. So it's going to be to do uh, to do create uh, create. Um, create a uh, list create view and going, since the function going to say as underscore uh, underscore view and then just pass in that place like that you can put in the name if you want is just say uh, list uh, underscore create underscore view just like that and then you can now pass in the semicolon there and then the pass second one you can put in the path and the path is going to be uh is going to be to do and then you're going to pass in an a uh, primary key because to, for you to be able to update a, a specific to do you need to have that to do only so you need to provide the id to, to order to obtain that to do only and this is going to be int which is going to be the data type and it's going to be of the primary key and then that's all we need to provide and then a first slash there and in order to say to do uh, uh retrieve update view and you're going to say dot as uh, underscore view since the class base view dot as view uh that as view and then make sure you call that and you can provide it in a name called uh you can provide call it any any name you want so you can just say that uh uh update update uh underscore underscore this uh sorry underscore delete uh underscore view just like that and then that's all we need to do and make sure that you have the semicolon after that to make because to this is a list so you have to maintain that list ordering so that's basically it so let's try it out and i'm going to save this and i'm going to go into my uh make sure that my my server my api is running and then i can go ahead and actually so i'm just going to go ahead and, and start my, my server again so my, my server again so my python server is going to get started again and what you're going to do is going to make sure that our, our application is running and then to check if the uh the default authentication post uh, that you have set are all working so let's so now that our server has started i'm still going to go into my front end and then go to this is uh it's going to be for slash just nothing just uh, have to paste nothing in there then you make a request this is going to return to you just an empty view since we don't have any to do with it okay we have an error in our in our uh, in our error in our table so let's say it says that uh the above exception to list to do has the, the cause of this exception let's, so let's read what the exception is and then let's try to figure it out so we have an error in uh in our code so let's see where the error is so 
let's go back to it says operational error so let's go back into a uh, 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 back end and uh, let's see what we have and then we have a uh, uh, let's take our routes first we have a route called to do's so let's check i uh, call it to do's and then api and then the this is the primary key and then it's going to retrieve update lead view dot as view and then you have passed in it yeah that's all you need to do and then you have passed in the to do create view and you have passed in it as view great so what we need to do is that we need to come up here and uh serializer, serializer is fine so serializer is going to be uh you can update everything so the serializer is going to uh to allow uh, story to to, retreat, to return everything so we're going to pass in our to do here and make sure that we import to do and check our model is called to do and everything is fine so we can go back to our our views and then check where the error is so our views in our views we can check where the error is so um dot views we have imported to do and then uh, this serializer so we have post uh, uh, first to do is a uh, query set equals to do dot objects dot all so that objects dot all and then the serializer class is going to be uh, uh it's going to be to do serializer and then you're passing the authentication uh, permission is uh, is authenticated or read only and then you have passed in the generics dot list create view and then the second one is passing the class and then is uh, is a uh, to do objects dot all and then serializer class you're passing to do serializer and then the, uh, authentication you have passing the right authentication so i don't seem to know where that error is so make sure that i make sure i save everything and then try to uh, refresh this one more time so uh we still have the same error it says operational error at first slash so let me just see uh okay we have uh, an error right here uh at forward slash so why is that error so let's check to to see where we have that error so the error where we have the error is somewhere here Mm, let's try to see where we have the error okay guys i think i know where the error is so the reason why we're having that error is because whenever we created a table we have to now uh, make sure that table is already instantiated or created so that's something that we didn't do that's why we are getting that error so there isn't there, there is very simple to create a table because you have written that it's just by writing a table doesn't mean you create it right so that's my error and i forgot to create that table so what to simply do you have to type in python 3 and then manage uh, manage.py and then what you have to do is uh right say make uh make migrations so but make migrations and then you run this command this is going to identify all changes and then it's going to make those migrations and then say python uh 3 manage.py uh migrate so migrate and then it's going to now run that migration and make sure that all the table is created so good so now that you have run this our tables are now created and then we can go ahead and actually now start our server again and make sure that everything runs fine so we're going to start our server one more time and then go back to the front end and then if i refresh this time and everything should work just fine so we're just going to get uh, this and you can see right now since you're authenticated we have this right here so, but if i out and authenticate myself then this table should disappear and you can see the table disappear the reason why is this uh if i go back to our views is this uh that permission that you have added that is authenticated i'll read only because the user can read but cannot authenticate cannot uh, update and delete data or create data unless it's uh unless it's logged in so if i log in again as print and then i'm uh, passing my password as secret and then login um now i'm able to make a to-do so let's go ahead and actually make a to-do so let's say get breakfast and let's say get uh breakfast uh breakfast you can say early and then early and then uh, we can say it's not completed and then you can specify the date for this and then the date you can click on the date field and then we specify the date uh sorry date is not showing up so let me just say on the on the 27th i make sure i get breakfast early and then i submit this so it's going to make a post request and post our data right here and you can see our data is right